We'll get to that weather here in just a second. Amani Larry is in, and the St. Joseph Health first pitch steps into this game with a 309 average, and now he's lifted a ball into left field, heading over to it, and on the run, making the catch is Caden Sorrell, who gets the start in left today. Fouled off pitches in that at bat. 0 2 pitch and a swing and a miss. Upstairs, he struck him out. Two down in the top of the first to Dakota Jordan, and here is that pitch. And a breaking ball got him looking this time. Froze him. Two strikeouts for Lampkin in the top of one. And Sainja comes with a full count pitch. Call strike three on the inside corner. He backed him off the plate and he struck him out looking. That offering is on its way, swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Sainja has struck out the first two Aggies. 2-2 Two -two on its way to Braden Montgomery. He's tagged this opposite field, and that's headed toward the scoreboard. That will hit the scoreboard, and you can put a run on it, too. One to nothing, A&M on the 11th home run of the year by Braden Montgomery. He goes opposite field to get it. And that's uh, getting an elevated fastball outside part of the plate, and he got all over that one. 0-2 pitch again. This is hit pretty sharply back up the middle, but that's exactly where the shortstop, David Mershon, was playing him against conference competition. Two of them this weekend. 1-2 pitch. Got it. Check swing. He went around. Another off-speed pitch. Fooled him. And Justin Lampkin has now struck out three in a row with the Bulldogs. 2-2 two and two to Downs, and he just struck him out. Swing and a miss. And Lampkin is dialing up the K. Four strikeouts in his first two innings. Communication electronically now, that should go away. Swing and a miss on the one-two breaking ball. Struck him out. Gerangelo Sainja gets his third K. He retires the side in order in the bottom of the second. Watched out last night. 3-2 pitch again. Got him looking on the outer half. And Justin Lampkin has struck out five. Lampkin to the windup, the delivery. Got him looking on the inside corner with a breaking ball. He backed long off the plate, and it caught the corner. Right of second base, here's the 1-1. He ripped that, but right at the shortstop, David Mershon, a line out. Hit this into center field, on the run, on the jog. Connor Heizak will make the catch. Sit down, Amani Larry, to start the fourth here. Pitch on its way. Call strike three. Got him looking. Inner half. And Justin Lampkin has seven strikeouts now as he rolls in to the fourth inning. 3-2 pitch. Swinging right back at Justin Lampkin. And he knocked it straight down. He picks it up off the top of the pitcher's mound. And he'll throw out David Mershon. Two down. Here's the 1-2 on its way. Call strike three. Got him looking. And Justin Lampkin keeps the streak alive of striking out two Bulldogs in each inning. Here's the 2-1 swinging. He ripped that to right field, going back and dropping the ball on the track is Dakota Jordan. He had to make the run toward the short wall and right. And on the run, he dropped the baseball on the track. And Jace Laviolette will go all the way to second base. Hit it pretty well. It might be a straight up double as Jordan had to get on the run. Either a double or an error. Either way, Laviolette has second base. The 2 1 on its way to Montgomery, and he tagged this deep to right field. Headed toward the bullpen and over it. That ball is gone, and Braden Montgomery, two times to the plate, has gone yard twice. He's driven in all three. And the Aggies now lead it three to nothing. Sainja throwing right-handed right now. He reached out and poked it opposite field, base hit. Went the other way on an outside pitch. Jackson Appel continues to go at it quite nicely from the plate. Here's the one-two. Swing and a miss, and he struck Ted Burton out. One-two pitch, swinging, chopped, first base side. That stays inside the line, and it's an easy play for Hunter Hines to field and touch first base. Three unassisted on the bounce out by shot. Great win for Aggie basketball. Now they try to advance to the Sweet 16 as they play Houston tomorrow night. Showing bunt up the third baseline, but he hit it too hard out there. Logan Kohler 
will pick it up, field it, and throw on the run and throw out Ollie Camarillo. Season for Joni Taylor and the Aggie women. That is ripped by Hunter Hines into right field, base hit. Braden Montgomery will field it off the wall and get it back in. Nice throw and almost got Hunter Hines at second base. Caromed away, it may have hit Hines. Looks at second base briefly, now comes to the plate. The one, two pitch and he struck him out swinging and he went breaking ball again. Justin Lampkin from the stretch, the 1-0 on its way. That's a ground ball hit right at Ted Burton, the first baseman, and he will field and take the bag himself. So 5-3 on the bouncer by Targotch. We're putting the five in parentheses. Sorrell tagged that towards section 12, and he got it out of here. About two rows deep into section 12. Third home run of the day for the Aggies, Caden Sorrell. He goes yard, and it's 4 to nothing a and AM. Second home run of his freshman year. Solo shot into section 12 over the wall and right. Five hits, the Bulldogs no runs on one hit. Rip down the line, right field, fair ball. Off the bat of Jace Lavulette. He's got speed, he will round second and stop there. You don't want to make the third out at third base, but just for entertainment reasons, you love to see Jace Lavulette run and you almost wanted him to round second and turn toward third. Braden Montgomery was coming up. He has two home runs today, and they'll just put him on base. All right, we think the Bulldogs can communicate now, and they've got a runner picked off in Jace Laviolette in between second and third base. They wheeled around, and Jace was breaking toward third base. They got him picked off, and in a rundown, they'll tag him out. Great crowd, one and two pitch here. Got him looking. Justin Lampkin doing flat out dominant work. Lampkin the 0-1. That's hit pretty well into left field. Sorrell drifting over. He's gonna have room. And in front of the warning track, he will make the catch. He continues on into the sixth. Jackson Appel, he stays hot. He ripped this into the gap. That'll get down and he's churning for second and he slides in ahead of the throw safely. Jackson Appel. Second hit of the day. Sainja with that pitch. Reached out, fly ball, right field. They're going to be able to get over to that toward the gap. Dakota Jordan got over there, ran it down. Throw to third base. Tagging is Jackson Appel. And they may have gotten him at third base had Logan Kohler not dropped the ball as Jackson Appel slid in. To Jackson Appel, one-two pitch, and he's lifted this to left. That will be deep enough. Right in front of the track, Aaron Downs makes the catch. But here comes Jackson Appel. He will score. Shot drives him home. Five to nothing. The Aggies up the lead. Yeah, with a 2-2 count, certainly. Now we're ready to go. 2-2 pitch, and he got him looking. He has struck out Dakota Jordan three times today, all looking. Right field. 1-1 pitch. Ground ball into that shift. Ali Camarillo, the shortstop, playing where a second baseman normally would. He will field and throw out Hunter Hines. From Dotson is on his way. Swinging, he's gone down the line, opposite field. Base hit, into left. Sorrell's going to round first, and he's churning towards second, and he's sliding in there ahead of the throw. The Aggies starting to take two bags. And Schulke the pitch. Ground ball, right side, base hit. They shifted him to the left side. He hit it to the right side, and he'll drive home. Caden Sorrell, 6-0 Aggies. First conference game in hand Kentucky, their first conference loss. Here's a two-strike pitch to Jace Lavulette, swing and a miss. One-two pitch, ground ball, and they will throw out Jackson Appel. So Jackson Appel, two for four right now. I'm going to call that efficient. And now Isaac rips a base hit single back up the middle, and the Bulldogs get the leadoff man on. Stretch on the hill, 2-2 pitch on its way. Swing and a miss. And the 12th man has watched Justin Lampkin strike out 12 today. Lampkin to chance, and it's on its way. Just missed up and in. And that's his first walk of the day, and it's the first time Mississippi State will get two base runners on. Here is that pitch. Swinging, base hit, center field. 
Aggies will likely lose the shutout right here. RBI single by Kohler will bring in Connor Hyzak. A&M leads six to one with one out in the top of the eighth. One one pitch swinging very high in the air left field line Sorrell into foul territory over the fence. and he reached over the wall where the Aggie bullpen is to make the catch. Terrific play by the freshman. That's a Moss Fajitas. Moss hustle play. Fly ball right field on the first pitch to Amani Larry coming in and over is Braden Montgomery and he will make the catch on the jog. Been a great day thus far at Bluebell Park and now we're going to try to shut down the Bulldogs and get the win here in the ninth. Swing and a miss there by Ollie Camarillo. 2-2 Two -two pitch, Evan Oshenbeck on its way. Swing and a miss and he struck him out for Evan Oshenbeck. That's his first strikeout in this relief appearance. Dakota Jordan swinging right field, coming over. Braden Montgomery, he'll make the catch. Jordan swinging at the first pitch, and he flies to right. They're on their feet at Bluebell Park, the one, two. Call strike three, got him looking. And Hines is not gonna go silently. He's arguing with the home plate umpire, Morris Hodges. Evan Oshenbeck, two strikeouts there in the ninth. And Texas A&M wins six to one. And that means the Aggies get the series.